Hello friends, welcome back. In this video, we will discuss about the benefits of Google Sheets over Microsoft Excel. So if you have already used Google Sheets, great, you would know a lot of things. If not, keep watching this video till the end so that you understand all the benefits. Or in fact, I should say the most important things that Google Sheet is providing, which Microsoft Excel is not providing. So keep watching. I am a diehard fan of Microsoft Excel and I think I have been using it for the last 15-20 years. Still, when Google Sheets came into being, I started using Google Sheets. I was a little reluctant in the beginning, but then as and when I started to understand the features that Google Sheets is offering, which are missing, which I would say are still missing in Microsoft Excel. I moved a lot of my work on Google Sheets, but the more important and the most complex things I still do on Microsoft Excel that to PC based, not Mac based, because I believe there are so many things that you can do on Microsoft Excel. It is very, very powerful but only when it comes to the PC version and not the Mac version. So in this video, as I mentioned earlier, I will share some of the key benefits or the most important things that Google Sheets offers over and above Microsoft Excel. And let me start with the most important one, which is the version history. Well, my friends, if you already know how to use Google Sheets, it's great. If not, let me first tell you how you can go to the Google Sheets the only thing you need to do is you need to log in into your gmail account if you don't have one you can always register for one and when you register for a gmail account you get 15 gb of space automatically along with this so once you have logged in into the, your google account the only thing you need to do is if you see the nine dots next to the s or whatever icon you are having for your initials here you go click and uh, just click on the sheets if you don't see sheets in this first 12 options you need to scroll down and see the sheets option and click on that if it is down somewhere for example this map you can always left click it and bring it up so when, once i click on the sheets it will take me to the option where it will list all the sheets and I have made one of these sheets. You can always click and create a new sheet. In this sheet, I have added a few numbers randomly to demonstrate. And I just want to show the basic things which a normal user would need to do is like making summation of numbers or taking out average and so on. So if you want to take out the sum, one of the things you can do is using your mouse, you can select all these, click on the summation button over here, sum and here it gives you the total the next thing you can do is you can simply start typing is equal to sum as you would have done in excel open the brackets select the range close enter well you would see that normally i always recommend in all my excel courses that you should use keyboard shortcuts in google sheets one of the things which i don't like a lot is that the keyboard shortcuts are not as user friendly as microsoft excel or maybe the reason is that i have been using excel for such a long time that i know most of the shortcuts that i need to use in microsoft excel and it may or may not work in google sheets but anyways the work is done if i need to find out the average i can always say a v e r average and see it's already suggesting me that i can use the average and based on the data that it has to be between the cells b2 and b5 i can simply go and click here as well but here since i wanted to tell b6 and not b5 i'll just modify it and click enter here is my average if i don't know what function do i need to use i can always go to the help on the top here and here write let's say average again here it says insert function average so i click on this here it shows me average and the function and then the description of the function how i need I need to use it and i can again simply select all this data click enter and here we go again so this is one of the most important thing that it's very easy to use if you have used excel great if you have not used excel you can still use google sheets and the good thing is it's free of cost like microsoft you don't need to actually go and buy any subscription and the only thing here i would say is that it is web based which means you cannot download it and use it offline the way you can use microsoft excel there is an offline version in it but it's not as good as microsoft excel however being on the cloud and since you are getting the 15 gb space along with your email account the benefit you get is you get become hardware independent or you don't need to have a pc or mac or phone where you will need to install something and use it you just need an internet access even if it's a chromebook or an ipad or your mobile phone you can simply uh, open the google sheets 
view the data and also edit the same so that is the benefit you get here so as i was talking earlier the few key benefits that google sheet provides over and above microsoft excel is that in version history there are two kind of things number one is the sheet uh, versions for which you need to go to file version history and see version history once you click on this a new dialog box is open on the right and you see that now it is showing you a little different version of the sheets there is no option of putting any command or anything and on the right it is showing me yesterday november 14th at 5 21 pm i created this sheet it was a blank sheet there was nothing that i did on it and on november 15th which is today it shows the last edit was on 3 17 pm and if i click on the small arrow against it it shows me that it saved a couple of things couple of versions let me put it this way at 2 58 pm 303 pm then 303 pm again 3 11 3 16 3 17 pm so the latest one is at 3 17 and also if you see there is this cell which is highlighted in green so if i click on the last one here you can see there was some working which was done on this cell so it is highlighted as green at if i click at the 311 it shows me the same thing if i go at the 258 pm history it shows me these cells so it means that i would have made some changes i know in this particular case i entered this data so that is the reason it is marked as green now if more people would have been using it would have showed multiple colors as to like light green is for me some other color for some other person which would have shown who made what changes and if you don't want to see the changes you can always click on the arrow below show changes and here you will see various versions visually you'll be able to see if there is any difference for example here you can see the sum s28 which was not visible earlier but if you click show changes then it will highlight the cell where changes have been made so if i need to restore this particular sheet because i screwed up my latest version i can always go up and click on this restore this version sheet and this version will be restored on top of all other versions and if not i can always click on the arrow and go back so this was the first part of version history the second part is not the entire sheet but if i want to see the version management or the the change history in a particular cell i can always go right click on the cell and say show edit history here you can see it says new because it was i believe recently launched a few months back only here it says at 3 17 pm salt tech added is equal to average before that at 3 17 pm i deleted the average and before that at 3 17 pm only i replaced is equal to some formula with the average formula if you remember i first showed you the sum formula and then the average formula so this is what it is showing so you can see I don't need to go into the revision history or the version history of the entire sheet but I can also click on a cell and see who changed and what was changed. So these two points in the version management is awesome which Microsoft Excel is not currently offering and if you use Google Sheets it will make your life very very simple. I will tell you in my particular case there are so many sheets wherein I need to collaborate with my work peers and what I do is whoever is entering whatever data i all definitely have this on my pc and my mac but i also have it on my iphone and my android the sheets app so if i need to see anything i don't need to call up anyone and see what is the latest update i just log in into the same and i see that the sheet is updated and i get to see the latest data so well this was one of the parts which was the version history as i mentioned now the second part is collaboration the collaboration feature of google sheets is too good to be true and believe me the only thing you need is the other person should have a google account which i believe in most of the cases people today are using gmail and they have it so all i need to do is go up on the right button click on share and on the share button i just need to enter the email id of the person in case if you are using the organizational or the google works or google suit as it was known earlier it will show you an error saying that you are trying to share a sheet outside the organization if it's a personal gmail account which you can always click yes and move on and if it is your personal account and you are sharing with anyone you can just simply share it with the people you also have the option of restrictions let me show you here 
the number one if you see down here it says get link if anyone gets the link to this google sheet they can always view it edit it and here you have the option of copy link but what i need to do is or what i personally like to do is i always go click on this change and then here i say restricted so that any people having this link cannot just simply open it either as a commenter or a viewer or editor but only people whom i add into the sharing path are able to see or edit the worksheet so done and that is it so in collaboration the good thing as i was mentioning earlier is that if you share it with 5 10 15 20 or so many people you can all work together yes i will just give you a very quick instance if i duplicate this tab so now i have two tabs or let me had it been two people so in this first tab i bring my cursor on the c5 cell and in the second sheet my cursor is on let's say c7 so you can see here when i take it on the first green cell highlighted it says solve tech because right now i'm using both the tabs as solve tech so it is showing me the na this name and this is the blue one is my current or active cell for this particular sheet if i go in the first tab here the blue one is my active uh, cell and the green one it says solve tech because this is the one which is for the other sheet so had it been 5 or 10 or 15 users you could very easily see where is the other person currently working and you can also go in the version history and see what all changes has been made and if there is a particular cell where some changes have been made you can always right click on that and see who edited it and what was changed so these two features are the coolest one which google sheets is offering well there are many more things which google sheets has to offer but in this particular video i'm just sharing the two most important aspects of google sheets over microsoft excel which i found and as i mentioned earlier i am a diehard fan of microsoft excel i have made several videos for intermediate beginner and advanced level i will leave the links for those videos in the description box below and the i above you can always take benefit of that and this is the first video that i have made for google sheets i'll be making many more videos so if you have not yet subscribed to my channel please go down click on the red button and also the bell icon so that you get the notification for all my future videos and friends if you like what you just saw please Please share it with your friends and family on Facebook, Insta and any other social platform so that they can also take benefit out of it. And if you have any query or you want to get information on any other topic, please leave a comment below. I'll try to cover that in a video tutorial. And also in Microsoft Excel, I'm using the latest version of Microsoft, which is Microsoft 365 and it has some very good features. I will also leave a link for why you should use Microsoft Office 365 on in the eye above and in the description box below. In case if you are using Microsoft Excel and you want to get the latest version, I found a couple of links on Amazon India where you could fetch some discount and I will leave those links in the description box below where you might be able to save some money. So friends, thanks a lot for watching the video till now thanks a lot take care bye bye